So hi everybody, Craig Hansen here and welcome to my video. Check this out, you're about to see some things that you've never seen before. We're looking at Tommy Fleetwood. What an amazing player. This guy is 5 foot 10, top 10 player in the world, 77% of greens in regulation. So one of the best ball strikers on the planet and this guy is averaging 311 yards off the tee and yeah, that's fifth in strokes gained off the tee and this guy is uh, yeah something special. If this guy can get his putting worked out a little bit, you're going to see uh, even better results coming up. Young guy, and uh, right into his yoga, and uh, so he's probably going to stay injury free. All right, let's get in there and have a look. Now, looking at the setup, we can see that he's got a, you know, with the left hand, the lead hand, we can see that he's got a, a three knuckle grip. He talks about having a stronger grip. Now, what that does is it gives you a bit more play and movement in the joint. It's going to increase your speed, get you in a more aggressive club, or get a more aggressive club face position, and get some more lag in there. Now. Guys, we've got around, you know, 70% of the people in the world coming in too steep and slicing the ball. So really look at this grip position and, um, yeah, that's going to help you out. Now, when we look at this takeaway, it's nice and wide. It's a very centered swing. The arm almost gets a little bit like Ernie L's here, slightly inverted, almost a bit double jointed, but uh, very flexible to stay that centered and get that much width. And some good pivot numbers, you know, looking at the right leg here, you know, he's up around. 82 degrees and from the, the back angle, which is a very important pivot to look at here, also at 82 degrees from the hip up through the shoulder. Now this first move is, you can see there's a slightly, a slight bit of movement downwards. And this first move, we're gonna be moving down again. But what we can see here is that the head will move forwards as well. Now this initial part of the swing is really important. It keeps the left hip moving down. Something I'll show you just a little bit later in the video, but the head and the hip and you'll see a massive amount of lateral movement. Now there's a bit of a trend at the moment that's saying that lateral movement's bad. Um, people really should be looking at some facts here and, and really considering where you know the best players in the world are at impact, some of the best iron players. There we have 13 degrees of shaft lean at impact from 90 down. So a lot of shaft lean, left hand hits the wall opposite the thigh, we have a compression line. And right here people, we have almost three quarters of that we have three quarters of that leg through the line and we see a little bit of backing up with the head which we see sometimes movement forwards in that initial move and then a little bit of backing up and uh yeah big angle from the right leg down you know, down into the 60 degree area very very similar actually to tiger woods these guys obviously you know some of the best iron players obviously tiger woods has spoken about being the best iron player of all time and we can see also there the head moving slightly forwards and we see Tiger not quite as much lateral movement, but very, very close, and also getting an impact here with you know tremendous amounts of shaft lean, 15 degrees compression line. And we see after impact, both players looking very, very similar in the way that their hands and their lateral movement works. Now, for the club golfers out there, obviously, you know, when we see players, generally speaking, we see the more lag that they have, the less lateral movement that they need. So Tiger Woods has a little bit more lag than what Tommy does and just a just a smidge actually but not not much so if you for club golfers generally speaking you guys are not having much lag at all getting the club way down in this position here you need to get your lateral movement you need to get across obviously we're looking at lateral movement and opening up to get the low point of your swing arc in the correct position you know working with facts working with evidence-based material and uh, to prevent those fat shots and thin shots and picking up your speed and picking up your power now when you look at this move from the back view, it is interesting when we can see it also from here at the top, we can see, we pop a line in here, the amount of movement uh, from here. And we see that the, the hip movement is also down at 11 degrees here and moving down. What's interesting is actually when you get into this position here, when the, normally when the left arm gets around parallel, uh, you'll see that the hips will uh, level out here. But you can see by Tommy, they're still, still moving um, downwards and that and first move with the hand. I'll just go back there. We can see a lot of people really trying to keep their head behind the ball and you know that first move in the swing if you can get that a little bit of a bump across with everything your head and your hip and you know move it move it into that a little bit of pressure into that left foot it's really gonna set you up in a great position. Now Tommy's changed his swing you know a little bit he's, he's, he's got a, a little bit more uh, compact than than it was and we've seen a lot of the time working out or practicing with a, a glove under his lead arm here but we'll see um, it really is a fantastic 
Fantastic club face control. What I love about this this golf swing is, you know, it's just so comp it's getting so compact and the club face control is, is simply amazing. So now when we're you know comparing it a little bit to a while back the swing was was up a little bit higher and uh, we seem as I said we seem practicing now a lot more with you know with this glove um, under the lead arm and, and just just helping him get the swing a little bit more connected but uh, when we see this club coming down it really is in an unbelievable position great plane lines Splitting through the forearm. Look at the plane of that. Now you guys can do this with your mobile phones, right? You can just set up your mobile phones and, and click it on slow mo and really get a gauge of where you are. Now, if you check out World Class Golf Instruction, it's it, for the platform that has over 600 videos and it's it's growing even more. And we really get in there and show you guys how to film your swings and analyze your swings and look at all the swing patterns. So, shoulder plane from the top of the swing. It's just slightly over the golf ball here, and uh, as we'll see, we'll see the shoulders steepen even more. And that really is, uh, I like Lee Trevino through the golf ball, isn't it? We've got the, the head out on the side and a steeper shoulder plane than what he had on the way back. Unbelievable club face control here. We can see that the club face, let me pop it a, a clock over there, that we see that the toe of the club is pointed between 12 and 1 and then through the ball, really no face rotation. And uh, now this guy's absolutely ripping it. And we'll just check out this. Last bit here, and we'll just hear this lovely sound when he hits it. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy Fleetwood, hope you enjoyed it.